Hey everyone, so I was recently asked about merging two different uh, Boolean lists together and only returning uh, where it's true. And so this could be like the any true uh, function. And um, the reason why they were doing it, and I don't have the full context, but they had an element that they, or a list of elements they were looking at, and they were looking at uh, two different parameters of the elements and then returning the boolean value i don't know if it was a if statement or what they were doing there but um essentially it kind of looked like this so we had two lists of of elements and we wanted to uh, merge them so they wanted to merge them and then return uh kind of a a single boolean list of the you know anytime it's true and that and then they were going to use that in the filter by bull mask node and so this is actually a pretty easy thing to solve and i thought it would be fun to look at two different options uh, for solving this and um and yeah so the goal is take these two lists and i'm just keeping it simplified here not uh, actually looking at any elements so keeping it simple we've got two different lists here and what we want to return is this code block so um, or a list that matches this code block so I'm gonna pull that over to the right and then we can uh, build this out so I'm gonna start with the first option which is the replace by condition node and this is pretty simple all we've got to do is plug in our our list and then we need to do the equal equals plug that into the condition and then we can do a boolean or like a code block in this case I'm gonna put zero let's pull this back over make sure it matches we can see it does so let me just explain this real quick the idea is that any of the elements so like one to one so true false 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 true false true so if we divide those up into pairs we've got this true and this false what we want to is return true if any of them are true so in this case uh, this would stay as is and then this one uh, would stay this would be replaced with true and this would be replaced with true right and then that's what we get as an output this one is a little bit different in how it's operating so um, if I actually take this and if we copy it up what the replace by condition node is doing is it saying okay uh, if this meets the condition then I'm gonna replace it with this now in this case it doesn't this does uh, meet the condition so it meets this condition right here so it does equal false and just to clear this up I'm gonna just make this false the zero means false as well but just to make it clear I'm gonna set that as false and you'll see it, it says okay well that meets the condition so I'm gonna replace it with this which is redundant not necessary it's not really necessary here it isn't it's uh, the condition is true so it's gonna replace it with true so that's what this is doing so if we look here we can actually see um, the boolean list that this would would be returning if we had something in it and, and this is how it's it's processing it so false it leaves that alone true uh, it replaces this false with this one true replaces this false with a true and then the last ones replaced with the true so that's how this is functioning so in some cases it's a bit redundant that's what's happening here um, but it gets us our result that we expect. The other way to do this is to use the uh, any uh, node. And so that's uh, any true node. And the idea is there is like if any are true, so there could be a true and a false, it's gonna return true. So now uh, let me just move this stuff out of the way and 
and again we want to match this so this is a little bit different we've got to do a list.create so now we have our two list we'll do a transpose So that'll merge our list. Now we've got uh, we got them into a sublist, so that now we can run the list dot any true on each of the sublist, and it'll return either true or false. Uh, if a true is in, uh, if the true is in the list, it'll return true. If it isn't, in this case, list one, it will return false. So now, if we do list dot um, any I didn't put a dot there, and I did false. Let's get rid of that. So we've just got to change the levels so that it goes through the uh, sublist instead of the overall list. And so you can see we've got the same um, same output. So this. The way that this is functioning is it's just looking at the sublist um, and then it's seeing if there's a true in it and if it is it's returning true else it'll return false if there's no true in there so we get the same output just two different methods of, of achieving that so there's so many different ways in dynamo to uh, approach a problem it could even be before getting to this point like maybe having a if statement before when you're querying for the parameters or the values of the uh, parameters from the element and then doing something there so that you don't have to add a bunch of extra nodes to filter uh, four elements so it kind of depends on what the problem is but what's neat about Dynamo is that there's a lot of ways to go about it um, and I don't think, I personally don't think there's like a strict standard to how we develop stuff. I think something that's good to keep in mind when developing anything is uh, having some logical sense to it and naturally Dynamo kind of already has that because it's linear, it's left to right. And so you know like the nodes from the beginning to the end, it's kind of like procedural, it's just like it's just functioning throughout the script from left to right but adding notes things like that can be really valuable uh, grouping stuff can be really valuable um, but anyways that's kind of a tangent to this uh, but hopefully you got something out of this if you had to deal with two different lists of booleans uh, let me know if you have any questions let me know if this helped and yeah thanks a lot for watching